Okay, here we're doing a removal of a cam chain tensioner on a 2010 uh, BMW S1000 RR. After I remove the upper fairing, the tensioner is right here. It's one bolt. I've already um, loosened it. Make sure you put a rag down. You will get some oil. Not a lot, but enough where you want to catch it before it uh, gets on the radiator hoses. I used a crescent wrench. Um, it wasn't very tight at all. A little bit of pressure and it, it was loose and so it will come out in two pieces let's uh, let's take it out and see how it looks so you'll notice right away that there are a couple of o-rings uh, let me pull the pieces out so one is the actual nut and here's the other o-ring and the tensioner let's take this down so we can get a better look at it so, in order, um, we'll have your nut, we have, uh, keep in mind there is an O-ring at the bottom here, and let's see if we can get a look at the area that it's going into. So, I don't know if you could focus that well, but you have one O-ring up top, and then you have one at the bottom that's... Uh, creating that seal and uh, you can actually place your finger inside and go all the way up and you can feel the cam guide uh, so you won't hurt anything by doing that yeah okay let's go back to the tensioner so you have yes your o-ring at the bottom here you have another one that's going to go as such when you reinstall put that on the top uh, you can't install this the wrong way, so don't worry. You'll notice that if I, let's put this to the side for now, if I install it this way, it has a nice fit to it. Um, but if I turn it around and install it this way, it's pretty loose. So, um, and even if you try to install it this way, when you go to insert it into the motor if you try to insert this side first it won't fit so um, that's kind of a safety measure that you you want to install it here with a nice fit and then of course in the motor it'll it's only going to fit one way which is the way it's shown right now so let me put the phone down and try to uh, pull this apart the first time I did this it was tough um, to get these two pieces apart uh, of course, these were all full of oil. It was slippery, so I wiped it all off. I used a um, rubber um, kind of strap that went on this side, and then I held it um, on this side and pulled it apart. And it did sort of, you know, explode uh, where both pieces flew apart. The spring went one way. There's a small, like, ball bearing washer um, in there, if you could see it. So I'm going to put the phone down and see if I can get this to uh, pop out. Okay, so it's much easier when you do it the second or third time. So I'll slowly remove this and I'll put these pieces down and then let's come back to it. Okay, so we have uh, this part of the body here. Here's this washer with uh, a ball bearing. You'll notice that, again, the ball bearing needs to go in first, so facing towards you when you look at it. Here's the spring. You'll notice that it has a smaller radius here and an increasing and larger up top. So you'll definitely want to keep this in mind when you're reinstalling it because this can be installed the other way. Um, will it make a difference? Probably not, but you just want to reinstall this, you know, stock. So, um, and here's the reason, you know, when you flip this piece over, this, this spring fits really nicely inside, a uh, nice connection, but if you turn it around and use a larger end, 
you'll notice that it doesn't have that nice mating surface. So here it goes right in, fits, and um, the way it's supposed to be. Then the last piece, the other half of the body, um, you'll notice that there is a lock washer. Uh, sorry, the phone's not focusing, but the washer um, needs to remain here. During the first reinstall, um, this washer had you know, a bit more tension on it, and it was very difficult to put all these pieces back in when it was time for the washer to go inside this part of the body. So what I did is I took a needle nose plier and I just crimped it so it had it was a bit tighter and closer together. And uh, once I did that, it made it a lot easier to put it back together. So um, that's it, it goes in reverse order. Uh, goes back only one way, back into the motor and then We'll tighten up your nut just snug and you're all done. Hope that helps.